So guys, today you're probably wondering where are we? We're at the pillbox, kind of northern of the island, next to Turtle Bay. We will be doing some food tour or some, I would say, shrimp truck hunting. The weather is beautiful, you can see the waves. And on this journey, we're here to discover the best tasting shrimp on the island. Is it Giovanni? I don't think it's Giovanni. Is it Big Wave? I don't know if it's Big Wave, but we're gonna see. Alrighty guys, we've made it out of the ocean floor and we're here to the Turtle Bay Resort Golf Club. Beautiful feel, as you can see. Beautiful feel, beautiful feel. Not a lot of people is out here today. It was raining earlier on a little bit, but we're on the right path and we'll eventually make it to the food trucks. Alrighty guys, we've made it out of the ocean pathway further up north. We're here a little closer to, as you can see, Turtle Bay Resort. Beach is beautiful. This is the path we're gonna hike on, to track on, to get to the food trucks. How much further is it from here? We don't know, but we're gonna do this together. Once we get there, we're gonna be trying two food trucks specifically. Not sure which one in general, but again, we're not doing Giovanni today, because that is a more common food truck. Today, we'll just do another two local one that everyone goes to. Well, guys, we're here on the highway now. As you can see, I wasn't kidding when I said we we're actually walking to this place. We're heading over to the food trucks, the shrimp trucks from Turtle Bay. No idea how long this distance is, uh, so we'll enjoy it together. Well, not you guys, I will. Uh, we're gonna kind of like skip forward to that process. But if you do find yourself on Turtle Bay, it's a beautiful area here. You can see there's like a little golf course happening behind us. Uh, so yeah, so if you're visiting, it's not a part of Hawaii. A very nice spot to stay at. The resort is beautiful. And yeah. Let's skip the process and head over to the trucks. Alrighty guys, we finally made it to Romy. The line is a bit long. But, uh, let's check it out. We're gonna skip to the park where we'll try the food out. Alright, see you guys in a bit. Guys, we came across a little deliver here. We went to the other shrimp truck and the wait there is like an hour long. So we ordered to go. We gotta go pick up. And right now we have Tanaka. So we're gonna try Tanaka first and then we're gonna try Romy's afterwards. And those are the two trim trucks we're trying today. Wait is pretty fast though. I believe um, number 58, so one more person. Alrighty guys, and this is Tanaka shrimp. Okay, so they gave you a nice little pineapple, little garlic rice, a couple of waters of shrimp. Shrimp looks pretty good. Let's go try it out. Alrighty, let's try this. pretty strong with the garlic flavor compared to Giovanni and the others it's not as salty or spicy in a way but it is a strong flavor of garlic here so I would rate this maybe a three out of five and that's Tanaka. Alrighty guys we finally made it to Romy the wait was about an hour and a half the food looks good though they have a beef is spicy and I believe this is regular butter I'm gonna try it and then I'll let you guys know afterwards Alrighty guys, so we just finished eating at Romy's. It was an hour and a half wait. And honestly, it's not worth the wait. I mean, some people taste buds is different, so they may prefer to eat that. Um, it definitely wasn't worth the wait. I would, even though at the beginning I said Giovanni, um, we're trying to bypass that, but Giovanni and Ted so far are way better when it comes to eating any type of garlic shrimp on the island. Um, I still have to check out Big Wave again, but in regards to Romy, and Tanaka, they're pretty average when it comes to the garlic shrimp. Okay, thanks for watching and uh, peace out.